This is one bad idea here, and today we're cutting aluminum foil with arcs of plasma from this old laptop battery charger. Alright, for this project we're going to need many materials, and of course one of them being the aluminum foil. We're going to start off with two pieces of wire, two paper clips, and a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to take one of the pieces of wire and one of the paper clips, I'm going to run the wire through the paper clip, I'm going to twist it to make sure it's on there very secure, to make sure there's a very good electrical connection. Now I'm going to set that aside and get the other piece of wire and some tape. And of course, it's always better to use electrical tape, but since I am out, I'm going to use some regular old scotch tape. I'm going to get the wire and attach it to the screwdriver by turning it around there very tightly. Then I'm going to set it down, and get a piece of tape ready, and tape it on there very tight. Like that. And then we're going to get the other paper clip, and we're going to bend it back. And here you can see my assistant, Mr. Rome. And with the paper clip, we're going to bend it back, but we're going to leave one of the um, ends curved. That way it will help us attach it onto the flat end of the screwdriver. And we're going to tape that on there very tightly again. And make sure it's touching the metal on there very well, otherwise it will not work and we will not have a good electrical connection. This paper clip will act as our tip, and while uh, cutting, this will get very hot, red hot, up to the melting point of the actual steel of the tip. So for this, you're going to want to use a rather thick paper clip. And because of this, now we're going to snip the tip to make it very sharp. And this thick paper clip will make it kind of hard to cut, but eventually you will be able to get it. And I'm going to use some elbow grease there, and finally it comes off. Now that I'm going to use my pliers, I'm going to bend one end down at about 45 degrees to act as my cutting tip. And now we have our leads ready. Now I'm going to take the part of the charger that, um, that attaches into the wall, I'm going to take that off of there, and I'm going to get the part that attaches into the computer ready. Now this charger does run at 18.5 volts and 3.5 amps, so you're going to want to be pretty careful. Now I'm going to take one of the wires and jam it into the center there, and the other one, and I'm going to wrap that one along the metal on the outside. Now I'm going to make sure that these are on there very well with some tape, because otherwise it will not be electrically sound, and it can come undone. Now I'm going to get one piece of tape ready there. And this is going to go on there very, very tightly. You're really going to want to make sure this is on there. Especially on the center one, because that comes out very easily. And because of this, I went ahead and got another piece of tape ready. And taped it again to make sure that those wires are very secure on there. And now our cutter is ready. Now we just got to hook it up into the wall and plug it in to the wall. And I'm going to get a piece of wood from the garage here. And of course the aluminum foil. Prepare that. And set that on the wood. Now I'm using scrap wood because this will produce some pretty nasty uh, burn marks. Now with the screwdriver out of the way, far away from the aluminum foil. And take the paper clip and attach it on there. This can be very tricky because the aluminum foil does want to crumple and can tear very easily. Now that that's attached on there, I'm going to plug in the part that's attached to the wall into the actual cutter. And now it is live. We must be very careful because now we have electricity running through there. I'm going to get my work gloves here. And I'm going to use some sunglasses, but really the best would be some welding goggles. Because that, because of the amount of ultraviolet light that is produced from this. I'm going to make a couple of test runs here. You can see it very cleanly cuts through the aluminum foil. And just like that. 
Sometimes the molten aluminum will melt and catch onto the tip and will short it out and will allow it to cool down and it will catch on there like that. This happens, you're just going to want to pull off the tip very quickly to make sure it's not shorting out. This is very useful for cutting out different shapes and stuff out of the aluminum foil. But this project is mostly just for fun. Now here I'm going to pick up the aluminum and I'm going to show you that if it's not completely hooked up to the, to the paper clip, then it will not work because it is an open circuit when you need a closed circuit. But if I were to touch that aluminum to the other aluminum, you can see that it connects to it and it kind of welds itself onto the other piece. Now here's a close-up and you can see the arc very cleanly as it shoots out some sparks. And that's how to make your own aluminum foil plasma cutter.